Well, when too much food has been prepared and some has to be put away, those food items are called leftovers. Great for family, but there are some situations when leftovers simply won't do. Hey, welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert. This is a bit of a surprise because I expected to be uh, back in my office, back at home uh, yesterday and able to record more of the uh, Mornings with Bishop Robert recordings. But I'm on the road with my secular job and I didn't bring my clerical collar and I don't have my regular setup. And as you can see, I'm here in a hotel room. It's gonna be that way today and tomorrow. So I uh, hope you'll bear with any issues in video quality or sound quality. But either way, let me say welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert. Uh, hey, I'm really glad you joined me, even though we're here on the road. <laughs> Come on in, have a seat with me, even in a hotel room. My goal is to introduce people to the Jesus they never knew, then help them get to know him and his word personally and better. So if our time together today speaks to your heart, let me invite you to like, subscribe, and then also share this with a friend. Wow, leftovers. You know, they can make a pretty good meal sometimes. Lasagna always seems to taste better the next day and <laughs> potato salad as well. In fact, we've had some pretty good meals made entirely from leftovers and you probably have as well. But as I said, there are some situations when leftovers simply won't do. So like, if your boss is coming for dinner at the end of the week, neither you or your wife would suggest, hey, since we're having lasagna on Wednesday, we can just serve leftovers when the boss comes. <laughs> Laughable. And even if leftover lasagna is your favorite dish, special guests never get leftovers. They get the best. When my older sister got engaged, our entire family was invited to their home for a home-cooked Italian meal. It was an amazing feast that consisted of multiple courses, salad, pasta, meats, vegetables, and much more were brought out in, in what seemed to be a never-ending parade of where the next thing surpasses the last. Well, Mary, the new mother-in-law-to-be, our hostess, gave us the very best she had to give. Every dish was a culinary delight. Even the tomato sauce was homemade. Guess what? Not a single item she served was a leftover from a few days ago. <laughs> hey, whether it's a dinner with close friends, an initial meeting with a new family, or any special celebrations that include a meal, there are some situations where leftovers simply won't do. Today's verse says, honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Now, first fruits may be a new term to you, but it's exactly what it sounds like. It is the first part of what comes into your hands. If you love God, if you've entered into a relationship with him, you ought to be honoring the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your income. It's a recognition based on your relationship with him that He's the one who's blessing you with the income that's coming into your hands. It's simply an honor due him as the ultimate provider. And God says, bring him the first fruits. Take it off the top. Like everything else God does as part of his relationship with us, the intent of the instruction is to bless us beyond our comprehension. He calls us to honor and obey then abundantly blesses our honor and obedience with increase. Hey, whatever a person sows, that's what he's going to reap. The Apostle Paul tells us, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. But whoever sows generously will also reap generously. <laughs> Bishop Robert version, you can't sow a little and get a lot. <laughs> Moreover, every farmer knows that if you want to keep reaping, you'd better keep sowing. Don't worry about your obedience causing lack, by the way, and don't act reluctantly or under compulsion because God loves a cheerful giver. He is well able to bless you abundantly. 
God wants your obedience to bring you joy, maturity, and greater faith, so that in all things, at all times, having all you need, you'll abound in every good work and be able to give generously. I remember teaching one of my children about tithing when they began to earn money on their own. I got a large stack of $1 bills from the bank, you know, lots of money, makes a very impressive stack in a young person's mind. Well, I counted out 10 of them, slid them across the table and said, okay, these are yours. I provided it, I want you to honor me with a tithe. Dutifully, the child slid one of the dollars back to me. As they did, I immediately began counting out 10 more dollars and slid it across the table to them. This went back and forth a few times. I think got $10, paid their tithe, they got 10 more. Well, after this child had a pretty sizable pile of cash in front of them, I asked him a question. When do you want to stop honoring me with the tithe? <laughs> the answer was never, because the lesson was simple. Our honor and faithfulness puts us in a position to be recipients of God's faithfulness. So bring the first fruits of all that comes into your hands and watch him increase it and bless you beyond your belief. Do it with the first fruits. Don't try to pay all your bills, cover all your expenses, and then see if you've got some extra money to give to the work of the Lord. That's not how honor works. It's not how faithfulness works. There are some situations when leftovers simply won't do. Even in this part of the country, we've run out of time. Before you go, can I ask you to help me introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and help them get to know him and his word personally and better? Please like this video. It really will help more people see it. Then click follow or subscribe so you and I can get together every day. If you click the link in the description, I'll be able to send you a free copy of my book, Count to One. Hey, one more thing, share this with a friend. Because as you do, it makes you part of the team, touching hearts all over the world with the love of Jesus. Thanks for helping.